Greetings, Commanders, and welcome to another episode of Melt Sucks at Ark of War. The Crimson Behemoth Level 9 World Monster is back in the game. He's a Vega with a guaranteed hit skill, and he has Tier 10 airships, and he hits you really hard, unlike the 7 and 8 monsters whom you can dodge who don't have skills. So the community members are just putting out great replays of them zeroing themselves or killing these Behemoth Level 9s amazingly. Uh, I put out a video last time called Raptor Did an Oopsie, where Raptor zeroed himself attacking the 9 monster, and then I accidentally attacked the 9 monster wrong. Um, I talk about a really high level strategy in that video, Melt Did an Oopsie. Watch that video if you want to know how to put troops in slot 2 and not take any damage. There's a way to do it, because... Uh, you put rangers in slot 1, and then they attack first automatically. So they kill the rangers, so your slot 2 goes first. And then hopefully your slot 2 kills your opponent's other side. When you do that, they get first strike back. So their slot 3 goes before your slot 3. When that happens, you need to make sure your slot 3 dies. So you'll want to put a ranger there. Um, so that way your slot 4 goes before their slot 4. And then your slot 5 goes before their slot 5. Meaning that... Otherwise, if you don't, their slot 5 kills your slot 2. I know that's complicated. Watch the video. I'm going to show you this replay because I wasn't able to apply that concept because I sent too many troops and my awakening one-shotted the monster. So here's the damage. Ouch. Luckily, I had some fearless pants on to absorb a bit of it. I did get the win, so I don't have to do it again. Frankly, it's kind of a pain and a risk to march with the, with the crim into the Crimson Behemoth with Tier 11 and uh, full metal. So I'm, I'm not super thrilled about it. My Dodger Rogers attacks weren't too successful. Here's the replay. I put the Ranger in slot one. I did that right. I put Dodgers in slots three, four, and six. But because I had a double Leo Sagittarius proc with the Awakening, not only do I kill the slot, I kill slots one and three as well. Uh, so my slot four has to go. My slot five has to go still. And their slot five is going to go. And he gets the breakdown now, which crushes my slot two. So I could have avoided this if I sent maybe 500 troops instead of 1,900. And then uh, instead of putting a ranger in just slot 1, I could have put a ranger in slot 3. Like I said, watch the video where I talk about Melted and Oopsie if you want more on that. But that was my disaster for the day. The best part about this video, though, is that I was able to fit all of my troops in the hospital, so I didn't lose them all. And I was able to use the Paraloper heal function with Metacrystals to heal all of them. Uh, it costs 25 million crystals. So not the end of the world, but uh, <laughs> you know, even I make huge mistakes sometimes. So if you have an embarrassing Paraloper replay, upload it to YouTube, send me the link on uh, Line, and uh, maybe I will make another fail video or a success video sometime next week. Remember, this event is going on for 14 days. The monsters spawn every four hours, and then there's a respawn. 12 minutes after there's like secondary waves i still haven't figured out exactly when they spawn but for me it's one o'clock then five o'clock then nine o'clock and then there's like another wave at like one minute or one o'clock and 12 minutes uh five o'clock and 12 minutes nine o'clock and 12 minutes so is that the same on your server are you seeing something different is it random for you help the community out put it in the comments below um yeah send me those uh, fail videos or success videos and maybe we'll put a video out next week talking about them so uh, happy hunting, guys. And if you want to see those other videos, remember, search Melt, AOW, Crimson Behemoth, or Level 9. All of my videos I've ever made for this channel are indexed with keywords. So if you search Melt and then AOW, you will find, and then a topic. So leadership, magazines, monsters, gear, all of its index. If the video has that mentioned in it, you will find a link to it on YouTube. Oh, oh, and thank the patrons. Guys. Patreon is going live in a couple of weeks. The Patreon pre-release is available, and uh, we've got a couple of tiers here. Remember, the uh, the Founders Club's fifteen bucks a month. YouTube is getting rid of their five dollar paid promoter club. That's gonna that's gonna take two hundred dollars out of our budget. That's like the majority of the money for this channel, and now it's gone. Thanks YouTube. So we're replacing it with Patreon. If you want to sign up, you get a unique mug, a specialized letter. Uh, and a couple other benefits, including early access. So uh, consider joining the Patreon. If you like this channel, if you like the quality of the videos, and you want to watch Ark War videos, I try to put a video out every day, five days a week. Not usually on the weekends. Um, but we're getting some Patreon support. And uh, once we get 20, we're going to get a green screen. At 50, we're going to get a trophy, maybe do a live event. I haven't really figured that out. But uh, consider joining Patreon. If you like the channel, help it out. Uh, we'll see where this thing goes.